Okay, so um, today's Monday the 26th of November and AJ is going, doing crazy stuff. Um, but I'm very excited today because I took an OPK and it looks like it's going to be a positive. And I also did my saliva and it was complete ferning. I don't know what happened yesterday and the day before. Uh, I don't know, maybe I put too much saliva on, I don't know, but complete burning. Um, no dots. So, um, I'm excited. It means that, what's today? Cycle day 17 or something? Let me just double check here. Yep, it's cycle day 17, and it looks like I'm ovulating today, or, yeah, so... Um, I'm just excited because it's happening on like cycle day 17 and that has never happened to me ever before in my entire time of since I have been getting cycles you know 13 years of cycles that's never happened like this so um, I'm really excited and um, well, we will just baby dance and um, see if anything happens. I'm not, I'm not at all getting my hopes up or anything. I'm just, at this point, I'm just really excited that I'm actually ovulating um, and that two things are saying yes. It's not just one thing. I've got to double check and it's saying yes that it is pretty much imminent. And my cervical mucus is, was saying it too. It was egg white. It's been egg white for a... a uh, like three or four days so um, fingers crossed that I do actually ovulate and um, if something happens great if it doesn't that's okay because it looks like I'm gonna be ovulating on a normal sort of time and um, we'll have more chances now um, to keep trying um, it'll be more like every month rather than every two to three months that we would have a chance. So, um, yay for that and um, I'll keep you guys posted. Bye. Hi everybody, it's me. Um, today is Friday the 30th of November and at the moment I am approximately two to three days DPO. Um, I would say probably three days DPO. Um... I got my positive OPK and my positive um, saliva test on Tuesday, which was cycle day 17, I think. Yeah. Um, so I'm on cycle day 20 today, I believe. Yeah. I'm really spaced out at the moment and just feeling like crap. My hay fever um, is horrendously bad and... I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, maybe like six hours. So I have a throbbing headache and my eyes are really sore. I saw sinuses from blowing my nose and I just feel like shite today. Um, sorry, this is moving a lot. Um, so yeah, um, we baby danced Monday night and Wednesday night. Um, so yeah, either side of ovulation pretty much. Um, I don't know what our chances are um, of conceiving. Um, I would think that they're probably better than they were when we were trying to conceive HA. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I will be testing probably 12 DPO which is next weekend I think <laughs> I'm sorry I'm just really not human right now uh, I just feel like crap um oh, my eyes are so sore so that's that um, 
how do I feel about this at the moment? Emotionally, I'm nervous. Um, I'm scared that it's going to be a negative, and I'm scared that I don't know. I don't. It's well. I'm just. I guess I'm just really like apprehensive. I don't want to get my hopes up. I'm like trying to be really harsh on myself about this one and be really honestly realistic that there is not a good chance of us conceiving the first try so um, I'm trying to be really realistic about it and yeah like just not get my hopes up, not get too excited by anything, just, um, I have to keep reminding myself to just got to take it as it comes, and, yeah, so, um, I haven't got any pregnancy tests here at my house or anything, I haven't purchased any, um, I'll probably do that a couple of days before I test, um, I might even like do it the day before I test or something because I know that if I have them lying around I'll probably just end up using them and then yeah so um yeah I want to wait as long as I can before I test um my luteal phase is it's usually about 14 days so um yeah I don't think it would be any different um being on femoprin, but I guess we'll just have to see, I don't know, um, but as far as getting ovulation pain, I've had some twinges on my left side, um, I had some like a day or two before I got my positive OPK, and then I had some Yesterday, I think it was, I had some pain on my right, on my left side, like really low, um, almost like in line with my hip joint, so like really low, and it wasn't, and this morning I had tummy pain as well, um, and it, again it was really low and more to like the left side of my body, or my tummy, and it was definitely below my belly button, like right on my pelvic bone line. Um, it wasn't pain like you would normally get like if you had like an upset tummy and like you needed to go to the bathroom or something. It was pain that was just like there. Um, it lasted like maybe five minutes and then it was gone again. Um, but other than that I'm feeling normal apart from the fact that my hay fever is playing up and I've just I don't know, maybe I'm getting a cold as well, I don't know, but I'm feeling run down. Um, so it's early to bed for me tonight. Very early to bed. I didn't get to sleep till like midnight last night. Normally I try and be in bed by like nine o'clock. <laughs> so I was a bit late last night. Um, so yeah, I'll just see how we go and yeah still weighing in tomorrow um, and I'll have that up yeah and yeah um, mm, but that's pretty much what's going on TTC wise at the moment so yeah I will um, probably see you again for another little update closer to testing time, closer to um, expected um, start of new cycle time and we'll go from there I guess. So yeah, um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!